Hi there. Okay, let me tell you what I'm trying to do here. In my, let me get over here. Okay, in one of my host files, so each client will have, a, you know, will be creating a server for them. And we need to add the staff members that are going to be installed on Samba and LDAP and all that kind of thing. So the way I see this playing out is we create a, an array called staff. And to each member of the array, we add their name, their email address, their title, um, and then it's separated by a pipe symbol. This is just a string, so each string is within the array, but we're going to be splitting or exploding that string into another array later on. Uh, so, But for now, we want to put it all in one string. And this last one is a comma-separated uh, group of, of possible groups, Samba groups, LDAP groups. Um, so we have all the user information on a single string for each user. Now, when we come over to, uh, we're going to have a task to add the users, and now we'll look at this task right here. Just to start off so you can see how this plays out, um, I've gone ahead and created a debug message to show it to you. Okay, and that shows you how the array looks. We have one string after another, pipe symbol separated. Uh, each one is going to have four indexes. Now, here's the part where I need your help because this is pretty complex and I would much rather pay you to spend the time on this. So we want to create the user and we want to assign that user to the number of groups that they have in that string. So I see something like a with items, um, staff, uh, one line I'm calling it, and then the name adds several users to their groups. And this is where it's going to get complex. This is not accurate Ansible language. That's the part I need your help on. So we have a groups and staff array. We're going to split that line on the pipe symbol. Then we're going to create just the groups by getting by getting just the last index of that array that should create give us the groups in something called the groups array the staff array we are now just going to remove that last uh, element off of the uh, the groups and staff and that'll leave us just the staff information um, separated uh, I mean no no that that'll give us exactly what we need now coming down further we need to get the username, the first name, and the last name. Excuse me. We need to get the first name, the last name, the email address, and the uh, the job title from that string. So the username has to end up being first name, a period, and the last name. Um, there can't be any spaces in the mix. There can't be any apostrophes in the mix. Um, and that will make up the username. So we're going to create the username from the first name and last name. Uh, and then the first name itself will just be s split on the username. Actually, let me take a look at this. Yeah, because the, the first name is going to have to be split out from that. So the first name, that's right, because the first name has a space in it. So we've got to work that out. So we end up with just the first name. We end up with just the last name. We end up, and of course, the email address and job title are already in array elements, so those are easy. And then I'm going to run this tool to create the user um, using the first name and last name as we created above, and the title and email and so on. Now we come down to the groups. We've created this groups array further up where we got the last index, and uh, we actually needed to split that actually we've got the last index we need to then split that on the comma to create the array all right then we come down here and we loop through them for each assigning this group as groups array um, and then this group name equals uh, this group brought down to uh, lowercase and removing any spaces on the left and right side of it spaces on the inside are okay in fact we need to keep those um, and then I'll run this other shell command where um, 
we well, it looks like I'm trimming it here, but you can trim it above this however you however that needs to be done. Yeah, the trim doesn't need to be done here because you've already trimmed it on the line above that. Okay. And we put the group name here followed by the username, which we have already gotten from up above. And that's it. That's the um, the array uh, dissection that I need you to create for me. This part right here from line 10 down to here. So it spits out that command um, and we can add these users and their groups. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Bye-bye.